Welcome back to Incredible Science. Today we have a different type of video. It's gonna be like a vlog style video. I'm gonna take you throughout the day until ultimately we get to the park and I'm gonna take Ublek baseballs and smash them. And the question is, will they stay solid or will they stay liquid? If you don't know what Ublek is, check out my previous videos where I put Ublek in liquid nitrogen. I do all sorts of cool stuff with Ublek and you'll get an idea. It's sort of like a solid and a liquid at the same time. It's really cool. So I figured what would it be if you put it in a balloon ball and smash it? So that's gonna be cool to find out. Let's get making it, let's get going. We need the supplies, I have to make it, I have to put it in a balloon. We have to get to the park. I have the baseball bat in the back. I have my slow motion camera, just a slow motion camera. Then I'm gonna film it, hopefully get it in slow motion. I hope I hit the ball. I hope it's a cool splash. I hope it, the balloon just doesn't fly. I don't know if you guys have seen my um, colorful sand balloon videos. I, I personally love those videos. It went to so many different cool areas and locations. I'll put the links in the description below to see those. Here's a quick, quick clip of what that looked like. And so today I'm going to the park with Ublek in a ball and I just hope the balloon just doesn't fly. I hope it actually splatters and explodes on contact because that will be really cool to see what happens. If it'll just shatter into pieces and fly away or it'll just be like a liquid. So really curious. You guys are gonna come. Enough of me talking. Let's get going. All right, we have our tray. We have the cornstarch right here. All we need is water. Oh, and we have our, our balloons. Where are they? There they are. We're gonna load these up. Doesn't matter what color. Let's get inside, make it, play around with it, and then head to the park. As you guys see here, when I punch it really hard, my hand does not go through. It doesn't make like a big splash like it would if it was completely liquid. Imagine you're doing this to a puddle of water or in a pool. The water would go everywhere. But when I put my hand down slowly, it acts like a liquid and it goes all the way down. It's sort of stuck because I grab it and it's like solid, but look, it becomes liquid almost instantly. It's really cool. So that's what Ublek is, it's a solid, and it's a liquid at the same time. Now we're gonna put this in a balloon and I'm gonna bring it to the park and slime it with a baseball bat and see, will it maintain its more of a solid property and sort of keep, see how I'm keeping it like a, like a ball almost? As, cause I'm going really quickly, back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, but as soon as I stop, so cool. It turns just liquidy. Again, let's try that one more time just because it's so much fun to do Again, put it in a ball back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and I stop and it's a liquid All right, you can make this again two cups of cornstarch and one cup of water for every two cups of cornstarch Add one cup of water just pour the water in slowly and see that you get the right consistency And then you, you're good and you're good to go and you have your oobleck. I'm not sure why it's called oobleck I'm sure a quick Google Search for Ublek, some words right there. We'll give you like the history of it, but let's get it in the balloons. This is 
is emptying into here. You can't really see it, but if you see the bottom. Okay, all this, guys, is oobleck. Feels actually really good. It's like a stress ball. It actually makes a great stress ball, just on its own, even. You should just make this with oobleck in it, just for fun. Because you squeeze it and you feel solid, but the more you squeeze it, it turns liquidy. Anyway, let's get this to the park, take our baseball bat, smash it, and see if it explodes as a solid or as a liquid. Let's go. All right, guys, we made it, and the rain so far has held up. It is getting windy though. Ooh, I feel a little, little bit of moisture in the air. Not raining yet, you know what I mean? It's like, it feels like it's about to start raining any second. I'm gonna get the stuff out. I'm gonna set up my slow motion camera on a tripod, and I guess I'll hit it like right over there, middle of the field. I hope they'll pop, and then we can see a really good slow motion shot of what it looks like, what the balloon looks like when it explodes and when the bat hits the oobleck. Does it shatter it? Does it just treat it like a liquid? It's gonna be really cool to see. I just hope I can capture it on camera. Let's get going. Setting up my iPhone here. Get your Stay Incredible Pop Socket, by the way, at IncredibleSigns.com. Check out my site, merch, merch, merch. That's like gotta be the YouTube word of 2018, 2017 and 18, merch, right? All right, check out my site, it's pretty cool. Got t-shirts, got stuff. All right, enough of that. Let's get my slow motion camera, my iPhone, into the tripod here. All right, I don't know how this is gonna come out. I just thought the idea was cool and it would look really cool if we could actually get the slow motion shot, so let's hope. Three, two, no, bad throw. Well, it did pop, and it is now, well, it's exactly what it was like before. A liquidy, oobleky mess. I'm gonna go clean this up, and we'll check the footage on the slow motion camera. All right, just check the footage. It came out pretty good, the angle was spot on. Um, I, I think it looked like it was, I'll have to check it on computer and you know really see it clearly, as opposed to the little screens on this camera and my phone, but it looked like it broke as a solid. It looked like pieces came off of it. So that was I thought that was really cool. Blue black when hit with a baseball and smashed, even if it's in a balloon, like a liquid, as soon as it comes into force with something else, contact with something else that's forceful, they'll become a solid. It just looked really cool. And um, yeah, I have to get one of those $100,000 cameras. We need the slow-mo guys to do this, but. At least you got to see a little bit what it looked like hitting Ublek with a baseball bat. Comment below, let me know what else you want me to do with Ublek. If you have a cool idea, I will shout you out and lots of other cool stuff. <laughs> so guys, let's head home and maybe CJ will play with some Ublek. CJ's afraid of the Ublek, right? You don't want to touch the Ublek? Yeah, it's a little yucky. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to touch it? No. A little bit? No. Do you want to punch it? No. Do you want to slam it? No. Do you want to put your hand in it? No. Do you want to pour it over your head? No. Do you want to pour it over my head? No. Do you want to, do you want to jump in it? No. Ready, let's jump. One, two, no. three. Oh! Jump. All right, that is it guys. CJ is a smart guy. He doesn't want to get his hands filthy with oobleck. Oobleck. You say oobleck? Oobleck. Oobleck. Stay incredible guys. See you next time.